So I skipped grade 12 in Winnipeg and I got into poli sci at McGill in Montreal. A university finally felt like home to me, you know, reading your typical lefty undergrad books and writing your typically pretentious undergrad essays. Howard showed me some of those pretentious essays. He was writing that, like today, conservatives were rising to power everywhere. Joe Clark in Canada, Margaret Thatcher in the UK, Ronald Reagan in the States, there was a gay rights march on Washington, the CIA and the Sandinistas were overthrowing Samosa in Nicaragua. Iranian students were holding hostages at the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. And the Soviets were invading Afghanistan. I was at an arcade playing Space Invaders. When you grow up in a bubble as a kid, you don't remember world events, right? You remember, like, brownies and banana bikes and gobstoppers and posters on your wall. That Farrah Fawcett poster on my brother's wall that he used to kiss so often it was worn out at the lips. And Gen Xers like me will always remember the ads that made our TV shows possible. They're great! Frosted Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, tastes great, oh yeah. We were fresh meat for the media machine. We spent hours in that soft blue glow thinking baloney had a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I'd like to buy the world a Coke all carefully crafted to invade our brains and stay there until we die. Game over. This is a tape of impersonations I made at the time on a Texas Instruments tape recorder in my bedroom. I'd play it for you, but all the tape recorders in Victoria are at the Royal BC Museum. Anyway, on it is an imitation of John Travolta as Danny Zuko in Greece. <laughs> it's cool, baby. <laughs> See, I think you can look at the whole Gen X years through the lens of the successes and failures of John Travolta. Okay, stick with me here. His Hollywood career begins in the 70s with a horror movie, a TV sitcom, and a made-for-TV movie. He hits the big time with movies about disco, the 50s, country music. He does a series of career-killing films in the 80s. Could have ended there with bad 80s hair, but the 90s happened. Travolta gets resurrected into cool them again, maybe wishing he could have skipped over the 1980s altogether. And maybe some of you wish we could have skipped over the 1980s altogether. That's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> Welcome to the 90s.